Okay, so in this exercise we're going to add the, um, the fin using an extrude tool in Animator to our saucer model that we started earlier. So uh, here we go. The, um, the finished product is going to be like this, and here's the use of the extrude tool. Get the idea that you get these nice fins. There's one there, and there's one over here. You can take them and you can put them on angles, and you can also use them as little supports for your, um, your rocket engines or for your laser guns. So this is a good tool to have, and you've got lots of, lots of uses for it. I'm going to go back to a stock object like this to start adding it and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and see if I can move things over here and just kind of imagine where I want to put this thing. So first off, it is a very good idea to snap to grid because with this tool uh, we're going to want to have a very closed spline and there's our spline tool here or our line tool and then we'll use that to cookie cut the, the thing that we want. So I'm going to imagine if I were drawing something here I'll just kind of offset it a little bit I'd like to have a fin that kind of goes up a little bit like this, maybe goes out like this. I'm going to do something kind of fancy like this, and then I'm going to kind of finish it off like this. Now I'm going to warn you, there are some shapes that don't extrude well. We'll try experimenting with that in a second. Well, for instance, here's a bad one, I think. If I were to do something that was like this, and jaggedy in like this, I think that's going to cause problems. Maybe we'll try both and see what happens. A little experiment. So if I go back to the tutorial, uh, is that the tutorial? There it is. It says we draw that shape first and then we have to use build extrude and there are some values we want to be concerned with. Now I've drawn this very deliberately. I'm looking from the left side and the saucer faces front so the x-axis is the setting we want to extrude along. Extrude is like a cookie cutter and all we're doing is we're pushing this cookie cutter along that axis. We're going to create something that is a fixed length and a fixed number of segments and we're not going to tessellate the caps. Okay, let's give it a try. First we select the spline and then we use build and look for that extrude. Once again X, the length is going to be two units. I only need one segment. I'm going to cap the start and the end and don't tessellate caps and I get the shape. It looks like that. Perfect. You get the idea. Now just for the fun of it, if I go back to this side and try the other one and do the same thing, build, extrude, and it remembers all the settings, you get funky results. So it's a good idea not to do shapes that are too complex. You can see there is a weird flaw to this where there's one surface that didn't get cut off. And uh, you know what you can do if you have mistakes like this? Just undo Control Z, takes it back, try it again. Now I don't think there's any solution for this one. I'll try uh, no tessellating the caps and saying OK. And that doesn't give us good results either. A little rotate and you can sort of see what's going on there. So my suggestion is keep it really simple with the extrude tool. Just do the most basic shapes that you can. And at this point in time we can take that object and move it into place. Now here's one other little trick with this. If I look at this thing from the front now, if you look carefully, and you should look carefully, you will see that where it planted this thing is not dead center in the saucer. Basically what happened is we drew the spline on the um, X origin that is where x was equal to zero, so that's the y-axis right there. And it made this thing two units thick and only one segment. Because it starts there and builds this way, it is now offset to the left. So if we double click this thing and we wanted this thing to be absolutely centered on the saucer, and you do, we should relocate it. So its location instead of being zero, 23 minus 21, let's put it at minus one. It's two units thick, so if we offset it minus one in this direction along the x-axis, it should center it perfectly. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your perfect fin. <clears throat> and for the fun of it, hit the F key, rotate around, see how it's looking. And obviously you can duplicate this and make those other fins. You can also take the things and rotate them if you're very clever so that they will create just the right angles that you want to make this thing look stylish. Good luck. Give it a try.